Hi everyone, I'm here to read chapter 5 of our book, How Not To Go To School. This chapter is called How To Feel Joyful, Disgusted, Worried, Angry, Sad and Hopeful. Wednesday the 1st of April 2020. In the corner of Beau's room we have a big wooden toy house. A couple of years ago we went to town to go to the cinema and on the way home we saw this beautiful toy house in a skip and mum stopped the car and put it on the back seat on top of me and Bo, and we took it home. We sanded it down and painted it green and gold. It's called The Inside Out House because the film we watched was Inside Out. We went down to the river and we collected lots of interesting looking stones. Then we painted them with di different feelings. I painted a big frowny face on a pointy red stone and called him Anger, and his brother is a jagged black rock called Rage. Sadness is a perfect round pebble. Disgust is a large brown grey rock with lots of knobbly bits. Worry is a greenish stone that's just the right size to squeeze in your hand. And Bo found a perfect flat round skimming stone and said that we should save it to be joy instead of throwing it in the river. To start off with, Bo and me just played out our stories with the different stones. Although it would usually end up with Bo shouting, Rage Rock! and smashing all the other stones with rage. Then we started to go and fetch disgust whenever mum suggested something disgusting for tea like buckwheat and gherkin salad or cold stilton and spinach scoop. Mm. Now, anytime I feel anxious, I fetch worry and squeeze him in the palm of my hand. The problem is when I stop feeling worried, I just leave him lying around and then mum stands on him and she has to go and get anger or even maybe rage. This morning I saw Bo sitting in front of the inside out house. He was holding worry in his hand, even though it was slightly too big for his hand to squeeze. He said he was worried about Gran. I picked up sadness because she's just as good as worry to hold in your hand. I feel a bit sad that Gran was going to be stuck inside for so long. Normally she goes out with all the other tiny old ladies and they do aqua aerobics in the shallow end of the pool and eat huge slices of cake in the leisure centre afterwards. Above the inside out house, Mum had painted a big sign in her curly calligraphy writing. It's impossible to read because it's so curly, but she told us that it says, it's okay to feel that way. Mum came in and sat with us for a bit and then she told us that she thinks we need a new stone for the house. She wouldn't tell us what feeling it was or even what the stone should look like, just that we knew we'd, we'd know it when we saw it. So we all put on our wellingtons and trudged down to the river. Pretty soon, Bo had forgotten about looking for the special stone and was just looking for dinosaur fossils. But me and Mum kept looking for ages and ages until my fingers were frozen to icicles and Bo had made an enormous pile of dinosaur fossils. Eventually, I saw the stone we were looking for. It was under the water lodged beneath a big craggy slab that I had to lever up. The stone was really small, about the size of an acorn, and it glistened. When you held it up to the sky, the light gleamed through it and it sparkled like a crystal. I knew Mum would love it. That's it, she said, beaming. What is it, I said. It's hope. We took hope home and introduced it to all the other stones, and Mum painted another sign to go above the house. She had to read it to us because of the curly writing, but it said, Hope is the thing with feathers which is a poem by Emily Dickinson. We wrote another postcard for Grant and then I thought this would be a good idea to include in my book. Here are some questions that me and Bo thought of. Are you worried too? That was Bo. Do you like dragon soup? That was Bo. Who could you talk to? That was me. How do your grown-ups feel? That was me. Do dinosaurs like soup? That was Bo. Is it okay to feel that way? That was Mum. And that's the end of the chapter. I hope you've enjoyed listening. I hope you're all staying safe and keeping busy. And we really, really look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, take care.